Hello and welcome back to the shed and welcome back to another pandemic project and our project in this video is another one of my little EDC items and it's one of these one of my little EDC opportunist pouches So before I start on showing you how to put the pouch together, I thought I'd give you a little update on what's happening with the green craft shop, because there is quite a bit happening. Now, for those of you who've been over onto the Etsy green craft shop, and the link is in the uh, description box below, you can find all sorts of items over there. Our patches, which <laughs> I'll ship loads out this week and they go off all over the world. Thank you those guys who've already bought them. Brilliant bit of kit, show your support for the channel, get yourself one of these, add it to your smock or your rucksack, wherever you like. We also have our cups as well, the Greencraft enamel mug. Uh, very, very popular item. There's a couple left in stock, but there are more, I've just ordered some more to come in, so there will be more going into the shop in the next couple of days. It's also, and I know these are very, very popular, my little EDC light pouches. And they go into the shop and they go out almost as quickly. Very, very popular item. I'm about to put a big load of these back into the shop. By the time this video comes up, there'll be a new set of these going on as resupply you can buy. To go with those, we also have our little companion pouch, uh, which comes with a little tampon, a length of Gorilla Tape, um, and it goes with your uh, EDC light pouch. Um, and these items are there as first aid, fire lighting, just generally handy stuff that you can have with you. So they'll be going up on the shop as well. A new item is going up and I've had an awful lot of inquiries about this and it's actually the subject of this video, uh, how to make it, but you can buy them too. And it's these, the little opportunist pouches. It's designed to complement the other two pouches uh, in that it's small, it's light, it sits on your belt. You don't notice it's there until you actually need it. And then when you do, it opens out and you've got this pocket, this pouch, you can put gathered items into but you've always got it with you and that's the whole point with the EDC range there's a load of these will also be going up on to the shop this week now there's a couple of other things that I'm currently working on I'm probably going to make up some more of the uh, mini more scarves for those of you who know what they are There'll be some more going up. I know they're very sought after and they sell very quick, but I will get some more up this week. And there's a couple of other items that I am working on, some new ideas uh, for items that complement the other EDC items, kit that you can use when you're out in the woods that's sensible, simple, and practical. Now, let's get on with the project. So my little opportunist pouch um, is another one of my EDC items. EDC standing for Everyday Carry, for those of you who aren't aware. And the idea with these is they're simple, small, lightweight pouches that allow you to carry a few items on your person, but because they are so small and lightweight, you don't know that you're carrying them. They sit on your belt, as you can see. On here I've got something to light a fire, a cutting tool, a flashlight. I've also got one of my opportunist pouches as well as one of my little companion pouches with some first aid and fire lighting stuff in. The idea with the opportunist pouch is if you do, as you're out on your travels, find something, you can quickly open it up and you've got an extra pouch that you can put all of this stuff in. Okay, so it's there, those opportunist moments, but it's something too good to walk away from. You just shove it in, and 
away you go. So for this project, you are gonna need a sewing machine and you're gonna need a couple of different needles. You're gonna need one heavyweight needle for sewing the webbing. You're also gonna need a lightweight needle for sewing the parasilk. There's a few other ancillary items that you're gonna need and a list of those is coming up on your screen now. And as far as materials go, well, you're going to need some 50 mil webbing, some 25 mil webbing, and some parasilk. You're also going to need a press stud as well. The dimensions and the sizes, they're all coming up on your screen. Your first job is to cut your fabrics to size. So start off with your parasilk, cut that out. Once that's done, you then turn your attention to your nylon webbing. Now the thing with nylon webbing is if you just cut it and then sew it, the edges start to fray where you've cut and it will gradually unravel. So what you need to do is seal those off. I tend to just use a, a candle and all I do is I run the, the cut edge near the flame from the candle and it just melts that edge, okay? Please be aware it does give off uh, some fumes. So try not to breathe it in and make sure you do it in a well ventilated area. And with your materials cut, you're now ready to start sewing.
And here is the finished item, almost ready to go. All we need to do now is fold it up, do the poppers up, and it's good to go. And there it is, all ready to go on your belt. Fairly quick, fairly simple, and easy project that anyone can do if you've got a sewing machine. Now I've got a couple of other of these sewing projects that will be coming up on the channel, and there's a couple of really good ones coming up. There will be step-by-step -step guides, but those will only be for my patrons, those guys who subscribe. If you're not already, one of my patrons, get on there and do it. It's worth the money because you'll be getting some very, very good step-by-step -step guides of how to make something way, way bigger than this. So there you go. <clears throat> That's my, uh, my little pandemic project. Make your own opportunist patch. Great little project anyone could do. Very, very simple. Doesn't take very long. If you can't be bothered to do it, well, go over and visit my Etsy shop. As I said at the beginning, the link is in the description box below. Go over there, have a look, get yourself on. If there are any left, I suspect they're gonna go very, very quickly. If you enjoyed this video, well, obviously, give it a go, make up the page. <clears throat> but also, remember to hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and you can always follow me over on Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description box below. And as I said, you can, support the channel as well by heading over to my patreon page i think that's everything next time i'm hoping we're going to be out in the woods boris is hopefully going to make an announcement later today and say neil you can go to the woods once more anyway i've been neil and until next time stay safe <laughs>